Hi everyone, Lady Amalthea here and today I have a deck unboxing. So, I thought I just made this video, but it turns out I hadn't actually pressed record when I thought I had pressed record. So I've already opened the box and unwrapped the very nicely wrapped, now it just looks like trash, package. Um, gorgeous tag, look at that. Oh, it's not it's got this gold, just gold ribbon, and it's an orange with polka dots. Oh, I love it. And it has my name on it. <laughs> um, so I bought this off a Australian Facebook tarot buy swap sell group. It is not my first purchase through there. Um, and I maybe shouldn't have spent as much money as I did, but that's not important. What is important is I now own a copy of The Star Child Tarot by Danielle Noel. So this is the Akashic one, um, which is smaller than the standard edition. That's the Moon Child Tarot. That's the Star Child Tarot, as you can see the bit of size difference, which is great because um, I already have an overstuffed handbag and so I would love to be able to take this deck places oh, my dog you might be able to see him behind me off he goes um, probably going back to work um, so this deck is that little bit smaller which is lovely um, the book is separate from the box but oh well I do prefer it when they're in the box but you do um, I didn't realize but the deck the package actually came with this absolutely gorgeous altar cloth, reading cloth, that I will definitely be using. It is stunning. I love it. So, because I've already done this, <laughs> you forgive me if it seems like I'm rushing because, like, I feel like I've, yeah, I've done this because I've done this. So, tuck box, very nice tuck box, with the suits on the side and it's got gold embellishments um, and on the inside it says we are all stardust which is gorgeous um, and the back of the box has some of the cards on it and on the inside of the bottom of the box is a very ornate scarab terrified of scarabs but uh, not important right now. The back of the cards is fully reversible, so you can read upright or reversal if you choose, whatever you're into. Um, so the cards are for me a great size. They fit in my hand really well. Um, gold gilding like this, the my moon child has. Um, now this is the borderless akashic so no borders but i'm happy um i think this deck is absolutely gorgeous it's not singing to me quite as much as moonchild did when i first got it but it is it definitely resonates with me one or two of the cards i'm not quite sure on the imagery yet but i'm sure i'll get there so let me show you the cards and we have in the place of the full the star seed so they're very pastel kind of crystally vibe cards um, if you're familiar with Danielle Noel's work this will not surprise you the magician so it looks to be a female presenting figure and there's lots of valleys and temples and it's, very, it's got a very feline energy which I appreciate the high priestess absolutely gorgeous between the two pillars the Empress love these cards moon phases on the top I can't wait to have a look at look at all the symbology in the individual cards the Emperor who appears to actually be a lioness and then we have the Hierophant who's like this really etheric kind of figure and the lovers I absolutely adore the lovers they appear to be holding two dogs chariot this one is possibly my favorite in the deck because it's a unicorn and the chariot is one of my favorite cards it's my birth card I think um, justice now some of the cards have been renamed 
uh, as we already say in Starseed, and we have Serenity in the place of the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Strength with a gorgeous lion. Uh, now this is card number 12, Perspective. I'm not sure what card this replaces. Um, brain's a bit fuzzy, sorry. Um, number 13, Transformation. So I think this is the Devil or Death? One of the two. Um, temperance. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Ah, no, 15. It's the devil. Look at this oppression. I'm not always big on renaming the cards because I think they have a lot of power behind the original names, but I'm not fussed. Tower. Love this tower card. The star. Really beautiful. The moon, another one of my favourite cards. The sun, this is a very beautiful card. And I apologise if they're not quite focusing. There's a lot of light in here um, and the cards are quite light themselves. So, Awakening um, is number 20. And then for 21, the world is now the universe and then we have the bonus card because this is a 79 deck card 79 card deck the akashic records card so lots of that ancient egyptian kemetic kind of imagery then we have ace of wands absolutely gorgeous wand with flowers growing out of it it's like roses two of wands Three of Wands. They seem to focus better if I get my hands in the picture, which is weird and confusing and I don't understand cameras, but Four of Wands. Look at that, gorgeous. Five of Wands. Now this is actually the card I got for my daily draw today from my last Unicorn Tarot deck. And I'll speak a bit more about that later. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, focusing some kitties, Nine of Wands, don't mind me, just readjusting, Ten of Wands, Page of Wands. Just gonna have a quick sip of my punga and cranberry juice. Mm, delicious. Knight of Wands. Very glowing this card. Absolutely love this Queen of Wands. She's with a wolf figure. Gorgeous. As you may know, I like wolves and dogs and foxes. King of Wands. Gorgeous card. Lots of nighttime imagery in this deck, and maybe that's because it's, you know, Star Child, Ace of Swords. Now, from memory, this is Danielle Noel's second deck, first tarot deck, but second actual deck. I can't remember the name of her first deck. Two of Swords, Three of Swords. Looks a bit like um, Cher almost. It's the puffy hair. Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. I sneezed when I made the previous video, or did not make, so hopefully I won't sneeze in this one. Ten of Swords. Really interested in what this going on in the background here is. 
page of swords. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Cups, which is my my favourite suit of most decks of tarot, Ace of Cups, lovely crystals in that, Two of Cups, which has a beautiful rainbow in it, looks a bit um, like a pre-Raphaelite painting actually, that's what it reminds me of. Three of Cups, which for me is the card that represents the relationship between my housemates and I. We are very close and I love them dearly. Four of Cups, another kitty in that one. Five of Cups. I'm not surprised at the amount of crystals in this deck because I've seen Danielle Noel's work before. I have four of her decks now, I think. Six of Cups, um, because I have the Moonchild, which is the first one I got. Um, and the two ones with Rebecca Campbell, the Starseed Oracle and the Work Your Light, is that what it's called? Um, Seven of Cups, something like that. It's I can see it from here, but the labels, like the I can see the barcode, but not the name. Eight of Cups, with that beautiful planet in the background. Nine of Cups, very watery kind of figure. This is a very magical looking card, isn't it? Ten of Cups, like they're up to something delightful. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, a beautiful temple background. Queen of Cups, the is that eleven? King of Cups, and we have the suit of crystals, which is the renamed pentacles. The giant crystal of it, ace of crystals. Two of crystals. Three of crystals. Is that a cheetah? I think that one was a cheetah. Four of crystals. It looks like he's going on an adventure. I do love this one. Five of crystals. Six of Crystals. Now the figure in this one reminds me of Tahani from The Good Place. Uh, the actress is Jamila, Jamela, Jamila, I'm not sure her name, but she's lovely. Seven of Crystals and she's, um, seems like quite a nice person. Oh, here we go, not focusing. Eight of Crystals. Obviously my giant hands aren't in quite clearly enough. Nine of Crystals. Next we have the Ten of Crystals, Page of Crystals, the Knight of Crystals, Queen of Crystals with a Tiger, very cool. Oh, I've gone out of focus entirely. And the King of Crystals. So that's an absolutely gorgeous deck. So um, as I did in my previous Norm video that I made, didn't make. Um, I'm going to shuffle and draw a card and go through the book and read you out the meaning. Now it would, would make me laugh if I ended up drawing the same card again. Um, I thought rather than just me pull out the same card as I pulled out in my previous non-video, um, I'll do a new one because I mean I can. Um, and I mean the meaning, the card I got was definitely for me um so it could be that someone else needs a message um and i applaud you if you've made it through this rambly unfocused video um oh, this deck is not shuffling i'm trying new ways of shuffling um i've never really felt like i'm super incredible at shuffling and so i'm trying some new ways i watched a, a recent video from ethany dawn um, who did a video on shuffling and um, I tried before shuffling but I don't really I can't make it work and I don't really want to risk damaging my cards because um, I have some really nice indie decks um, that I don't want to wreck and yes I know they're just a tool they're just bits of paper but they're expensive bits of paper they're expensive so I'm going to look after them um, so I'm 
doing that. I don't want to show it on camera because it, I don't think it looks, I don't think I look very good doing it, but this kind of overhand dropping, whatever that's called. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a card, which is, ooh, the lovers. Completely different to what I got before. So let me just go through the book and find the lovers. Here we go. So it's a black and white imagery in the book. And let me read out the message for you. The lovers the message an important relationship may be present in your life or near future this could indicate a deep platonic friendship or romantic love it is the establishment of mutual respect and abjuration that exists between two individuals as they honor and share personal beliefs and life values it may also be the self-realization of what is truly meaningful and spiritual through experiencing one another mind body and spirit this strong and loving support gives you the safety and freedom to share your thoughts and feelings with this person the choices you make however may greatly affect your future so it is important to also think of them think them through on an individual level remember to mutually honor and celebrate your life paths this will in turn bring strength back into your relationships time and time again and then it's got a, a message in italics what is my perception of true love? Am I ready to open to receive love in abundance? And then additional meanings, love, balance, marriage proposals, celebration, life decisions, important choices, sexuality, unity, relationships, communication, friendships. And that's got a reverse meaning. There may be some imbalance in your life or relationship. Is something falling apart? Is there a shifting of values or beliefs? This card may also denote uh, an avoidance of certain responsibilities. It may be a good time to establish a sense of direction or priorities in order to make room for opportunities and growth. It is wise to remember that you cannot be truly happy in a relationship if you are not primarily at peace with yourself. And then it's got additional keys, chakras, fourth, heart chakra, green, 11th galactic akashic chakra i have absolutely no idea what that means but hopefully there's more in the book about it gemstones frozen quartz turquoise moonstone blue calcite larimar malachite kunzite hematite green kyanite emerald peridot chrysophrase is that how you say that one astrological planetary gemini mercury venus symbols Vestia Pisces, Flower of Life, Golden Spiral, Sacred Heart, Infinity, Lemon, Lenimsate, Star Tetrahedron, Guides, Shamuel, Raphael, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, Sanat Kumara, Hathor, Aphrodite, Kamadeva, Freya, Venus, Bhavrati. Now, is there any more on that? Or no, that's two, so two pages of information. Um, so who knows who that meaning that card was for i'm not entirely sure how it connects for me personally um i'm just having a quick flip through the book to see what it says star child tarot akashic written and designed by danielle noel is it noel or no i'm not sure now okay so the index says introductions your higher self healing with the tarot cleansing your cards shuffling reverse cards about star seeds tarot spreads three card spreads the celtic cross spread star seed spread akashic spread metatron spread about the major arcana about the minor arcana court cards the spiritual keys the 13 chakra system the major arcana the minor arcana characters of the star child tarot thank you and about danielle so um there's quite a lot in this book and i'm not going to go through the whole thing because there is quite a lot in this book um and but it does seem to expand on some of those things that i just read out um just quickly flipping through it to see if anything jumps out Crystals, court cards, 
spiritual keys. Okay, so in here on page 43 of the book that I have is the, th the 13 chakra system. So it certainly expands on the traditional, um, is it Sanskrit or Hindu system? Honestly, I'm not sure and I don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, and it has a source, celestial chakra, galactic akashic chakra universal chakra spiritual cosmic chakra stole char stole soul star chakra and then crown third eye throat heart solar plexus sacral and root and then earth star chakra now i'm not sure where these concepts come from um i have not heard of ones outside of the known chakra system before um, but yeah maybe maybe it's from somewhere and I just don't know where um, actually interestingly there's a list of all the models from um, each each image of the star child tarot which is really interesting because i don't think i've seen anything like that um for the moon child tarot and i'm pretty sure i've been through that book quite extensively interesting interesting um so yeah i mean it's an interesting little interesting book um the copyright in here is 2014 to 2016, so this is not a new edition. Um, this is an older edition, certainly, but nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I look forward to getting to know it better and and certainly working with it more. Um, my one gripe is that the book um, doesn't fit in the box, that the book is too big. Um, and because certainly if going by that lovers oh here he comes back here's gims hey gims hey honey come to say hello have you just come to check up on me and see if i've left any crumbs under my desk <laughs> i dropped some cheese last night and he found it this morning he was very happy um and yeah so if the book fit in the box i would be over the moon but it doesn't and that's not the end of the world. Um, it certainly will be a deck that I can carry around a lot more easily <laughs> with ease. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not a proper word, but I often say it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. They fit in my hand really nicely. Oh, and I picked it up and look. Chariot. <laughs> Love it. Um, so I certainly will spend some time with this deck. Um, I just wanted to say that I just today and yesterday I was watching Kellyanne Maddox's latest video talking about her tarot journey and um, in it she mentioned that it's important for her to take time to work with her each new deck and I certainly feel like I need to slow down with my with adding new decks into my repertoire because I feel like I'm not getting to know them well enough like I got to know Lightseer's Tarot well while I was away because it was the only deck I had with me. Um, certainly had all the apps on my phone and um, on the days where I would forget to draw a card during the day, I would draw one in an app on my phone in the night so that I've done a card for the day. Um, but like I got familiar with the deck because that was the only deck I had. Whereas here now that I'm back at home, I kind of have deck overwhelm because I've got all these decks and the Gaian Tarot, which was the previous deck I unboxed, which is absolutely gorgeous and I absolutely love it, I'm slightly overwhelmed by it because there's so much going on. And I foolishly, like I was tidying up my desk and I put it away and I haven't gotten it back out again and it's been away for a good week now. And so I haven't been working with it. I did get out my last unicorn deck because I needed some love and reassurance. I was having a bit of a bad day the other day so I just kind of needed that familiarity and comfort 
um, that that deck brings. And I do have another deck waiting to do an unboxing. Um, that is an Oracle deck that I backed on Kickstarter that I'm quite looking forward to opening. Um, but I do, I do think I need to slow down. I mean, I've got a few more Kickstarter decks that I've backed that are like in production or have just finished um, their Kickstarter campaign. Um, and certainly it's, it's very easy just to, you know, buy decks. Um, I don't really tend to buy physical books so much anymore now that I've been using an e-reader for a number of years. I do of course still buy physical books and get gifted physical books and I love physical books but I don't have the space um, here really for them um, but I feel like I can you know always sneak another tarot deck in so but I feel like I need to kind of slow down with that a bit um, and just just kind of focus on the decks I do have um, it's interesting, the other video I thought I was making, that obviously I didn't make, um, I kind of went in a very different direction of what I was talking about, and it doesn't seem right to rehash it, but, so you've missed out on some irrelevant content from me, but <laughs> what do you do? Um, thank you everyone who's tuned in, and for watching, uh, putting up with me, and my rambly ways. Um, hopefully you got something out of it. Um, I mean, I enjoy it. I enjoy doing these. This is why I do them. Um, I, I've been, I've been wanting this deck for a while. Um, I found it at a price I could afford at a time I could afford it, and so yeah, I picked it up um, and it arrived today. So I did the unboxing. Um, I shall stop now because this is almost half an hour long, and you do not need that. <laughs> um, thank you, everyone. Many blessings, and until next time.